Sorry, I tried to act a little pissed off at work. <laughs> What's cracking, mother truckers? Outlaw back here, another video for y'all today. As you can see by the title, it says explaining everything. Well, that's exactly what we're going to be doing in today's video. Well, inside, I'm a little pissed off at certain things, that and the other. And you guys, if you follow me on social media, you guys realize what has been going on over the past few days. It's been a little stressful ride for my channel if you guys haven't heard. So I have a few things to talk about. It's not just about, obviously, my YouTube channel, but there's quite a bit that I need to address. Now, this might be like an old school outlaw rant like I used to do back in the day quite a bit, and I apologize for the people. I just want to insinuate first off that I'm not generalizing at all in this video. I am just addressing certain people on what things have been said. Um, first, you know, obviously I'm not generalizing all of YouTube employees. You know, I'm just generalizing the few who had something to do with my channel almost being taken down. Especially it being a big deal when it's my livelihood, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and, and first of all, you know, we're in the, uh, the, the dip room. It looks a lot different, obviously, right? Just stuff is just laying all over the place. There's mud jugs everywhere. There's old stuff and signs and whatever. So we're, uh, we're actually getting ready to clear this room out. We have a vidget got coming for you guys, renovating my house. And we've been doing a lot. If you guys haven't noticed already, but we've painted the walls, the ceiling, new fans. There's been uh, quite a few things being done in my house. And I know a lot of you guys like that stuff. So we're gonna be uploading a video. When is this one gonna go up? Maybe tomorrow? Yeah, maybe. I think so. So just be on the lookout for that. Hit that subscribe button, ding, if you ain't yet. Cause uh, we got plenty of stuff coming. And you know, it just makes me extremely motivated now more than ever with what has just happened, which is what I'm going to address right now. So, if you guys haven't followed me, I got another strike on my YouTube channel for my most popular video, Sagging Her Boobs, which is a music video I did. It's a parody of Dirt On My Boots by John Party, right? So this video out of nowhere, uh, In-Law was actually, um, you were editing the Christmas special. So if you guys don't know by now, the Christmas special is up on two channels. It's up on my second channel, Live to Thrill, which is kind of like my backup channel at this point. It's up over there, and it is up on my Outlaw channel, just because I wanted to make sure that everybody seen it, all right? So In-Law was up all night, Christmas night, and when he was done and he went to go upload it, you know, I was already asleep at this point, and then he puts a post-it note on my computer, says, hey, if you don't know why the, uh, video wasn't uploaded just look at this so i look at it and youtube removed my music video for good and um said that it had nudity in it and that there was that it needs to be off youtube because there was nudity and obviously it was uploaded over three years ago right i still remember because that's how i actually met miss outlaw was because of that music video and we've been dating over three years at this point <clears throat> so i'm like why is a video from Three years ago, just now, getting in trouble for something like nudity? I'm like, did a YouTube employee seriously get it wrong that my boy Fat Boy, my best friend, who played a girl, did they actually think that he was a girl? Because <laughs> I talked to Fat Boy about this situation. He's like, you know what? And he started getting really pissed. He's like, you know what? This is, this is kind of insulting to me especially i'm like i know bro i know at this point that caused two strikes on my youtube channel which means i'm not allowed to upload for two weeks the video before that i also tried you, you have the option to appeal whenever you know something happens i'm being very transparent usually a lot of youtubers don't go through this process of what goes on behind the scenes but i just want to i want to explain all of this for out of principle because I'll talk about that in a second. Another video, it happened to be with Fat Boy as well, was a, a blindfold dip taste test. We blindfolded each other and we were trying different dips. It was a fun video. There was nothing wrong with it. They said it was taken down because of harmful content because they said that we were harming. I don't know, it just said there was harmful content, like challenge videos, and it was too harmful and it was bad. there was bad stuff in it. One, this is the issue that I have. The two videos were taken down and two other ones were also taken down as well. One was a vape one and one was a... Uh, um, what was the other one that was taken down that was part of the warning? I don't remember what it was. Cigar. The cigar video. So I was trying a cigar for the first time. And so those two videos were also taken away, but those were just warnings, right? So here's my issue with YouTube and what they're doing. First of all, all of these videos were made previous to the new guidelines that came out saying we don't want anybody making 
dangerous challenge videos, which first of all, it's not dangerous. I don't want to, I don't want to say this on a video, but I will just because it, I'm proving a point at this point. Focus on me, focus on me right now, okay? You guys know I have actually done a couple like dangerous challenges for myself. Those videos are still up. You guys know what I'm talking about. There's a couple on there, okay? You guys know what I'm talking about. Those videos are still up, yet these videos get removed. Now, the issue with me having them being removed is they're, they're removed with no warning. They don't even age restrict the video first. Age restriction means that only someone 18 and up can watch the video, which I understand for some, okay? I get it. They have a lot of kids on the website. YouTube's a business. They're trying to grow because the kids on YouTube are, are the biggest audience there is. I mean, the toy unboxing freaking kid made $28 million last year. You know what I'm saying? It's insane. I get the age restriction. Well, why didn't YouTube age restrict Saginaw boobs first? Why didn't they age restrict the, the blindfold dip taste test first? Why didn't they age restrict these before they just removed them off the website completely. Another thing, I'm going to say this. Susan, I don't know how to pronounce, pronounce her last name, but the CEO of YouTube, Susan Wojnowski, or whatever the tits her last name is, she, in an interview with another YouTuber herself, said anyone who has made a video before the new guidelines have come out are basically grandfathered in. Rules have dates. Quote, she said that, rules have dates. With that being said, rules have dates, then why are my videos especially getting removed after the fact years later when they were made years before? All the videos that were taken down were apparently flagged by somebody. I don't know if I was getting mass flagged by, uh, by somebody else, not YouTube. And then YouTube just sees it and they're like, oh, we're taking it down. And they didn't realize that the videos were made before these new guidelines were in place. One, I still don't think those videos that were made, the four that were taken down, I think they were all misrepresented and they didn't understand the context of the videos. And that's an issue that there's no transparency where I can't just explain to YouTube what happened. They only give you a certain amount of characters when you appeal it. They rejected all of my appeals almost within minutes of putting them in and they just said, nope, you're, you're bad. We're deleting your videos. So here's my thing. This made me super angry, especially because YouTube's my livelihood and there was no, I felt like there's no respect. I've been a YouTuber longer than most people on this platform since 2007. Almost 13 years at this point, I've been a YouTuber. I have seen many, many YouTubers come and go, okay? I have sticked with this platform and I've had the opportunities to go to other platforms and do other things and I have stuck with this platform because I still love this platform no matter what happens, right? I've always been here because of the community and because of you guys. And I felt like there was no respect towards me from YouTube and it's like I just have never existed in their eyes and I'm just a bad YouTuber and everything I do is is bad and I should just go and 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 quit because they're taking my videos down and I shouldn't fight this. That's the way I felt whenever these videos were removed. It lit a freaking fire under my dick. It lit a fire under me. And I went to, and this is the issue. When you're a YouTube partner and you've been a YouTuber for a long time and you have a lot of subscribers, you know, there at some point YouTube is supposed to come to you and assign you a partner manager so that somebody can help you with issues like this. I have never in my almost 13 years on this website been assigned a partner manager. I have been a YouTube partner since the partner program became, which has been freaking I don't know, nine, 10 years. I was making videos before you could even make money on YouTube. That's the issue here. I, I feel like there's some sort of respect I should receive from this website, at least, you know. But besides the point, I uh, got in contact with a bunch of YouTubers. I'm like, listen, man, I'm kind of desperate at this point. I need contact with somebody. The issue is they took that video down on Christmas day, like early evening, they took the video down and it was gone. At this point, I'm like, well, crap, am I even gonna be able to get in contact with anybody? Because people, you know, YouTube lets all their employees go the last two weeks of the year. And I'm like, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get in contact with anybody. I'm not gonna be able to upload. I've got this Christmas special up. I'm, I'm trying to upload this and crap. and. I don't really know what to do at this point. Well, I get in contact with a bunch of YouTubers and I wanna give thanks to these YouTubers as well. Uh, Rob Lunkers TV, he helped me out. Uh, um, Brandon Jordan, um, Jigging with Jordan on YouTube, he helped me out. Uh, Optic Hex, he helped me out. Hector, he, he helped me out uh, a great ton and gave me his contacts as well. These are all YouTubers that helped me out and, that, and, and, and obviously uh, Hushin as well. Uh, Brian from Hushin, BMAC. Um, these guys reached out to me and helped me and gave me their contacts that they had because I've never been assigned one. Uh, you know, I've had YouTube contacts before that I've built relationships with, but they don't work for the company anymore. 
So for a while, I haven't had anybody to, to talk to about this situation. I finally get in contact with somebody. And then miraculously, 12 hours later or something like that, I get an email saying Saginaw Boobs has been reinstated, but now just put under an age verification or an age restriction. So now Saginaw Boobs is finally back up. The video almost has 9 million views. It's it's one of my biggest videos. You can go on my social blade and you can see, we'll put the picture up here, that like I dropped like 9 million views in one day and then the next day it came back because they finally put it back up. I, I think that YouTube's starting to understand, hey, you, you know, we get it. We shouldn't have removed your video. It should have been put under an age restriction first. And I'm still trying to have that done with the other three videos that are still on my channel as a strike because if I get another strike again, if this happens again with an older video that was made before these new guidelines, I could still not upload for two weeks or, or then it could get my channel banned. So obviously I'm trying to get down to the bottom of this because I wanna still continuously upload and not have to freaking go to a, a, my backup channel or something like that, you know? So I'm just trying to get all this figured out and I'm trying to get in contact with people and, and have talks with them where I have them understand the situation. This is the way it should be. Susan herself, you know, the CEO of YouTube said this, why isn't it being implemented? It's weird to me that such a big company like YouTube could screw up like this. Like I said, I still want to stay on this platform, obviously, and um, I feel like I'm deserve, I feel like I deserve a little bit of respect from them. And I told them, I said, listen, I don't want to break the rules. I don't sit here and I'm not trying to break the rules as far as th this platform goes. I'm not trying to look at the guidelines and be like, oh, I'm going to break that rule today. I could point to a, a thousand other videos that are worse than the ones that they removed that are still up on YouTube and they're not even restricted. The issue I also had with Saginaw Boobs was uploaded on fans channels like three or on three or four different occasions and those videos were still up but mine was taken down. I believe maybe, you know, somebody went and mass flagged all my videos and YouTube saw them and they just said, okay, we're gonna take them down, which I don't know how to fight that. I don't know how to fight somebody who just apparently doesn't like me for some reason and just goes and flags all my videos. I don't know how to, how to do that, you know? So I just wanted YouTube to know, hey man, you know, I'm, I'm here to make entertainment. I'm not here to break the rules and, and piss everybody off. That's obviously not what I'm here for. So my channel's been reinstated. I'm able to upload again. I still have strikes on my channel at, at this point and I'm trying to get them taken off and get them put under an age restriction or at least see, have them see the context of the video and realize that there's nothing wrong with them and there's nothing that breaks the community guidelines at this point. And if there is something that they're a little weary about, put it under an age restriction instead of deleting the video from YouTube completely and giving me a strike. That's not fair. That is not fair to me at all. Especially when I put my appeal in, appealing and, and saying this and they don't even, it's like they don't even read it and they just reject it immediately and get the video off YouTube. That right there is complete BS. And that's what I'm trying to convey to them at this point. A lot of YouTube employees and stuff don't come back until the new year, so I'm trying to work on communicating with some of them and getting that figured out. That is that situation. And I can go in much more depth to a lot of other things that happened, but I do appreciate the people that helped me out. And I'm still trying to work on this situation to where this doesn't happen again. And then not just for me, but for other YouTubers as well. Because I haven't really seen this issue come up with a lot of other YouTubers where videos from years and years ago get taken down and it gives them a strike. I haven't seen that with a lot of YouTubers and I'm trying to save other YouTubers as well. This actually happened with another YouTuber, Kendall Gray. When I reached out to him, when I found out that he got these two strikes for something that happened and blah, 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 and they didn't listen and they just deleted it, I helped him out. I gave him the platform to speak on my channel because he couldn't on his. So if any other YouTuber has issues like this, reach out to me because I will 100% help you out as far as trying to get your channel reinstated strictly out of principle because I don't want to see what happened to me happen to other YouTubers as well. You know, this is still a community to me. You know, I started on this platform when it was a community. Now it's just about kids trying to get this thing called clout and everybody's trying to, to do some dramatic shit to get views and, um, and I've just been trying to provide entertainment for people and give people what they, what they actually want. I am willing to help other YouTubers who are trying to do the same thing if this problem occurs with them as well. That's on that situation. Another situation I have. Let's go ahead and talk about the dip. I, you know, I'm gonna call people out, but I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna say names. I made a video, the last video I made before, before, um, before uh, uh, my video got taken down and I wasn't able to upload was explaining the dip and why my dip's not tobacco anymore. I feel like the people that watched that video didn't even listen to what I was saying. It's like they were the company YouTube at the point of taking my videos down. All the comments, not all of them, I'm generalizing there, not all of them. A lot of the comments 
were just straight up garbage. They didn't even listen to what I was saying about how we took people's concerns about the first release of Dip. It's like they didn't even listen to what we fixed. They just said, oh, it's just complete trash and blah, blah, blah. First of all, I'm giving people the platform to tell me what they do not like. Companies never do that. Companies don't say, hey, why don't you email us and let us know what you guys don't like about the product so we can do that for the future. I want everybody to realize that I'm trying to make the best it possible for you, not for myself. I'm not sitting here trying to be a money grubbing whore and just make a shit ton of money and I don't give a crap what people think. What do you think I'm trying to do when I'm saying, give me feedback so we can make this the best dip possible? Good Lord, man, like I'm trying here. And kids don't see that. These, these, it's, and I, when I say kids, I mean kids because here's the issue too. I'm gonna call the, a couple kids out because people, I, I've had all these messages and stuff from kids saying, I have a problem with my order, man. Blah, 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 my mom ordered me dip and this, that, and the other and it didn't go through and this, that, and the other and oh, we, we use this card and, and, uh, and it, it didn't work and can you look up my order? And I'll look up their orders and there's no name in the system. There's no order number and they didn't get an order confirmation. Like, well, well, I, I tried eight attempts on, on my, my account and stuff like that and then I'll go through and be like okay well that it didn't go through blah, blah blah and then they just come back at me like oh oh okay my mom bought gas with my card that's why it didn't go through sorry man I'm like first of all you're not 18 you have to legally be of age wherever you live in your state to buy dip on our website that's just the legal boundaries of it we're not gonna go to jail and get in trouble for freaking selling kids dip that's obviously not what we're trying to do if you have a problem with that fine take it up with the law not me too some of you guys actually have to think. Some of you guys don't think at all. I had this kid talking BS on our company like we don't like we don't help you out and all this kind of crap when all these individuals in our company have told you that you don't know what you're talking about. You're 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 sending us bank statements. This kid sent me transactions saying, "Look at you've took taken all this money out of my account and I've never received any dip." He thought that our company was called Chevron. Chevron is a gas company. And like, it's a gas station. It's an oil cup, like this kid. And I, I, I get these screenshots and I say, buddy, our company's not called Chevron. I said, your card was used for gas or something like that. That's not our company. And he just goes, oh, my bad, man. I'll, I'll, I'll delete my post talking shit about you. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with some of y'all? How were you guys raised? Obviously I'm, not gen I'm not trying to generalize here. I'm not saying everybody's like this, but there's a lot of people like this. And some of them are grown ass adults. And it makes me sick thinking that these people actually live in our country and like, what the hell? One, I have an issue with that because we have done everything possible to communicate and, and, and help out our community and reformulate all the time to make the best it possible. And that's what this is right here. And if you don't see that I'm trying to do this for the community and I'm trying to make the best dip freaking possible for people out there to enjoy, then that's your problem. All I wanna say is I'm not doing this for myself. I'm doing it for everybody. And I want to actually be known as the best dip company out there with the flavors that you've always wanted. And we're working our ass off to create something that everybody's always wanted. And some people don't see that. And I get it. I'm not letting it bother me, but I'm just conveying that out there because I'm sick of seeing people. I'm giving people the platform to say, to give me feedback and they're using it and they're using it against me in the way I did not intend. And they're saying, oh man, this stuff's just trash. It's trash and blah, 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 which is, which is not the truth. I have an issue when the majority of people loved the first drop of the dip. Not a lot of people had issues with it. There was just a few people and we said, okay, we're gonna reformulate those, obviously. We're gonna make the best thing possible. We're gonna fix this, we're gonna fix that, we're gonna fix the other. Yet, when I made the video saying that there was a new reformulation up, it's like people didn't even hear me and they don't even care. And they're just like, nope, just trash forever. You can release one thing, it's just trash forever. That does not sit well with me. Especially when we're trying to become the best dip company out there. You know, we treat our consumers and our community like gold. We listen to what everybody says and we do what they say. Companies, other companies don't do that. And I just want some people to realize that. I apologize for going on a little bit of a rant. But my main point in this is, I feel, I have felt this way for the past couple of months. I feel like people have been taking advantage of me and thinking that I think differently than I actually am. With a dip, people thinking that I'm some money grubbing whore and I'm, and I'm just in it for the money and all this kind of stuff. Like I'm not trying to make the best dip there possibly is. 
for the future and have it around for years to come. Everybody's thinking about right now. Oh, Outlaw's not really, you know, he's just freaking in it for the money and he's not, he's not real, he's not this. With the YouTube videos, oh well, he's just freaking, he's just in it to make bad content. He's just, he's just doing stuff for adults and he should be off of this platform. I feel like I've been taking advantage of and I don't want people to feel that way and I don't know what has made people feel that way and one thing that I feel like might have made people feel that way is the videos that I make strictly out of entertainment like the red hair thing, buying the Tesla, back in the day, throwing a fit, breaking my desk and trading my Suburban in for a Prius. This is what I want to convey to the people watching this right now. This channel, and I've always said it, that every single thing I do on this channel is strictly out of entertainment. The red hair thing, and the change, and all that kind of stuff. That was weeks of entertainment. Anybody who was watching this, who watched those videos, you can't tell me that you didn't want to just click on it because you wanted to see what was happening next. You wanted to see how crazy Outlaw was going and all this kind of stuff. Do you actually think that if I dyed my hair red and I was going change and all this kind of stuff, that? and me fighting with Miss Outlaw and, 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 and breaking up and doing all this stuff. Do you think that that would actually be put on the platform? You think In-Law would just upload that behind my back or something like that? You guys have to actually think, is this been done for entertainment? Do you know how many subscribers I lost? Well, actually, I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did because if the people that wanted to unsubscribe because they were like, I can't believe he's like this. I can't believe you dyed your hair red. You're not actually country, man. Like. What is going through your head to think that this is actually real? These are the things I'm talking about when these closed-minded people watch a video and then they judge me on the content that is produced, even though it's entertainment. If you're watching a movie and your favorite character goes crazy for 20 minutes and then and then at the end of the, vi the end of the movie he he comes back and he comes to light, oh, it's such a feel-good story. It's a feel-good story. Oh, it's feel so great. It's the same thing with YouTube. Even though it's on a different platform, there's still entertainment purposes here. If you didn't like that stuff, then they unsubscribed. They were those closed-minded people I talked about, which they just didn't understand. And people still, to this day, on my Instagram, when I upload a normal picture, they're like, wow, you're done being a douche that dyes his hair red and buys a Tesla? Hope you sold that piece of crap, man. Electric cars are shit. Like... <laughs> Are you serious? I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> these are like real people in this world. These are things I want to address because I want other people to realize that these people are out there. What is wrong with you? How are you raised? Like, I want to see how some of these people live. I don't get it. I'm not like, dude, I've hit 1.5 million subscribers like six times this month. I don't know what's going on. Maybe YouTube just doesn't want me to hit it, but I've hit it. And then like th like two hours later, they'll take 10,000 subscribers off and they'll do like a sub purge on my channel. They just continuously do it. I can never tell if it's YouTube doing it or if it's people just like not understanding the c content that I'm creating. And now I'm like, well, now I just, you know, if I enjoy doing stuff like that and doing storylines, and that's what I was, my intention was to do storylines and, and, and do different storylines. That's what we did with the moonshine thing and people freaking, I had people like, man, Outlaw, I know your name's Outlaw, but I don't like, I don't like you doing illegal stuff like this. If I see another video, I'm going to call the cops. I guarantee you'll call the cops and they'll be like, are you freaking retarded? Like this guy's a YouTuber. He's making it for entertainment. Like this is what I'm talking about here. I don't get how people actually, maybe I'm just a good actor, Jacob. Yeah. Maybe I'm just a good actor in law. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think anyone committing a crime would post it on YouTube. Uh, just my own opinion. I mean, there is that people that stupid for sure that have done it before, but uh, I would like to say that me making videos for as long as I have and I'm still on this platform that people would actually, you know, use their right mind and, and think that obviously that's not what I'm doing. I'm sorry I've been ranting a lot in this video and I, I'm sorry that I've been uh, doing this, but this is all pent up in me and I'm like I gotta get this out you know because if, if those people unsubscribe good I'm glad they did because I don't want those type of people watching my content okay that's one thing the other thing that I could say good about is good I'm glad YouTube freaking deleted those videos because you know they're just stupid no that's strictly out of principle and I want them to realize what they did was wrong and they need to fix this as soon as possible so it doesn't happen to other YouTubers as well and I want people to realize when I'm making a company 
and I'm trying to make it the best product possible. When I give you the opportunity to give me feedback on it, you don't take it the wrong way and you don't go the opposite direction and just talk a bunch of crap because you can because I gave you the platform to. That is not the reason I gave you the platform to give me feedback was to talk shit when you have no clue what you're talking about. These are things that I wanted to address because I don't want them to happen in the future, obviously. So that's it. That's it. I, uh, I just needed to get that off my chest. I apologize for yelling at some points and stuff like that, but th this is me explaining everything. And I feel like it needed to happen. And I do feel, you know, this last year on YouTube, it's been, you know, I feel like a lot of things have been plummeting because YouTube is changing guidelines and, and changing things. But if you look at all the past videos that I've been uploading the past few months, none of them have been demonetized like they used to be. I've been doing good. I've been obviously, like I said, I'm not trying to break rules here. YouTube can look back at my, you know, this past year since the new guidelines have been out and I have followed them to a T. I have not uploaded anything that somebody should be like, Oh my gosh, this needs to be removed off YouTube. You know, I am changing with the times. Obviously, being a YouTuber, you have to continuously change all the time, and sometimes they don't like it. But if you want to stick around, you have to change, and that's why I've been around for so long. I went from making strict dip videos to strict hunting videos, and then I, and then that gets old, and then I went to, you know, doing the things with uh, with with the red hair and the Tesla and, and the Prius and things like that, doing storylines, because some people are interested in that, and those videos do well. The views speak for themselves on those types of things. And people can say, oh, people are unsubscribing, you, you're getting no views. Oh yeah, well go back and look at the views from those videos because they were the biggest of the year. So your point makes no, has no validity to it. I just want people to understand that I've been doing this longer than most people and I know what the hell I'm doing. Trust me, I know what I'm doing with this. I've been doing this for so freaking long. Trust me. If you're, if I'm going to watch somebody on YouTube with something that I have no idea what it is, I'm going to trust them because they are possibly an expert in that field. That's what I feel like, you know, and I know I have, you know, I have a weird audience of people that most of them are in high school and stuff like that and they don't really know what's going on with their own lives and stuff and they are quick to judge other people because they're in a weird place in their life. And I get that, but I just wanted to reiterate all this stuff because I didn't feel like I had to reiterate that hey man that me dying the red hair and stuff like that was just strictly out of entertainment I hope you guys understood I didn't think I'd ever have to say that because I feel like people just would maybe it's the people that still believe pro wrestling is real <laughs> maybe it's the people that still uh, I'm not gonna say that other one I don't want to piss people off <laughs> there might be kids watching but um yeah that's just kind of what I was talking about let's stand up I know you're dying down there so um, anyways, I just wanted to reiterate all that stuff to you guys. I wanted to explain that and I don't want to have to make a video like this again. You know, I just, I feel like, uh, it just had to be set because I've been feeling very down as of late because, uh, some people are portraying me as something that I'm not and I don't want that to happen. Um, every time I upload a picture on social media or something like that, people are still talking shit on me buying a Tesla and they don't, like, they're so dumb that they don't understand that it's over. And it's, I, I, I can't go on anymore. Anyways, that's pretty much all I wanted to say as far as explaining stuff. I wanted to also say that a lot of people are not getting my videos in their sub boxes still. And I had a kid come up to me the other day at Best Buy. I was actually buying your TV for you for Christmas. Oh. And this kid goes, hey man, I haven't seen you upload in months. And I'm like, what are you talking about, dude? I upload like two to three times a week, every week. I've always uploaded a lot. And he's like, what, really? Oh, I've never seen it. And I'm like, just make sure you have notifications turned on because I don't know what YouTube's doing. I know a lot of people just don't see my content anymore. The thing I tell everybody is if you guys aren't getting it in your sub box or anything like that, just turn, just click the bell next to the subscribe button. Click that bell and turn notifications on and that will help you get notified every single time I upload a video. And I appreciate every single person that does because I've been doing this for so long and, and the reason I have been is because I love this. When, I, when my, my channel almost got taken down a couple days ago, there was no possible way I was gonna let that happen. I was going to fight to make sure that that didn't happen because I still love doing this more than anything. Even though I have business different verticals and stuff off of this channel, this is still number one to me and that's why I have continued to make YouTube videos for so freaking long. And I appreciate every single person that has stuck around with me, especially for that long. So thank you guys. Okay, a couple more things I wanna say. The year is almost over. We've got like two days left in the year. I wanted to let you guys know. I'm not wearing the shirt right now because it's in the wash. This shirt right here, 
is the December shirt of the month, right? You guys have an opportunity to win, bam, my bourbon truck right here. I am giving it away next week to anyone that signs up for Outlaw Shirt of the Month. We're gonna pick somebody at random and then I'm gonna freaking call your ass and we're gonna send this sub bitch to you. I'm gonna miss it. The bourbon truck's been in my family for a long time and uh, it's about to go to one of y'all. So if you guys have not signed up on outlawmerch.com for the Outlaw Shirt of the Month yet, you need to if you wanna win this Suburban. And every single month, you get a brand new Outlaw t-shirt. This was actually not a Shirt of the Month, but this is just a shirt that we, uh, we made and it is up there now. And January Shirt of the Month comes out we are going to release that here in the next couple days on January 1st, and it's a good one too. I freaking like it. Click the link in the description box below if you guys wanna win this Suburban truck, go to outlawmerch.com and sign up for the recurring shirt of the month, and every single month you get a brand new Outlaw shirt that has never been released before. Not only that, but, and it's actually the price, uh, it's actually lower than the price of an actual t-shirt every single month. So that's super cool that we decided to do for you guys. And one of you, lucky, lucky, lucky sons of dicks, is gonna win that bourbon truck. So I'm excited, man. I'm excited to make a call and, and see who's gonna win it. You! All right, I think that's gonna do it for me, mother truckers. We have got, we actually, in-law and I have been filming quite a few videos right now. Uh, like I said, we're renovating my house. We've got a crazy video coming for you guys tomorrow that I think you guys are gonna enjoy. And don't forget, we uploaded the Christmas special on two different channels. So it's up on this channel. Uh, the most previous, you guys can go check that out. We'll put it at the end of the video. And then as well, it's over on our Live to Thrill channel. So it's up on two channels for you guys to watch if you guys want to go check it out. We've had some fun on Christmas and I hope you guys enjoy it as well. Like I said again, man, I'm sorry for the rant. I just had to get that off my chest and I just wanted to explain everything that was going on. And hopefully with my YouTube situation, everything will be worked out soon. And um, I don't have to wait until March or whatever for these strikes to aspire when I seriously did nothing wrong. And uh, I'm just trying to get some Freaking justification here. 25 8, 366, no matter what you're doing, we'll see y'all tomorrow. My name's Outlaw and I'm out, y'all. Keep it freaking hell, Billy! Holler! Yeah.